Let's pass on to red soil. Red soil is formed due to the disintegration of crystalline metamorphic rocks. It's red in color due to the concentration of iron oxide. They ask you a question like why is red soil red in color? The answer is it is rich in iron oxide. Characteristics, it's red in color due to the concentration of iron oxide. It's porous and poor in nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium and organic matters. Contain soluble salts in small quantities. All these are the drawbacks of the red soil. They ask you a question. Why is red soil not suitable for agriculture? So you got to write that it is rich in iron oxide. It is porous, poor in nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium and organic matters and contains soluble salts in small quantities. So all these factors make red soil not suitable or unsuitable for agriculture. Areas where red soil is found in India, Maharashtra, Odisha, Chhattisgarh, Jharkhand, Bundelkhand, Northeastern states and Rajasthan along the slopes of the hill. Crops rice, ragi, tobacco, groundnut and potato. Red soil can be made suitable for agriculture. They ask you a question in board exam. How can the red soil be made suitable for agriculture? Red soil can be made suitable for agriculture by making use of fertilizers. It can be chemical fertilizers or organic fertilizers. Please bear in mind. Passing on to laterite soil, it is red in color, formed due to the disintegration of rocks under heavy rainfall. Please bear this in mind. Under heavy rainfall and heavy temperature with alternate dry and wet period. Mean to say that there has to be heavy rainfall and at the same time the rainfall should not be continuous. There has to be an alternate season of dry and wet period for the disintegration of rocks. So this results in the formation of laterite soil. You can also say that the laterite soil is formed due to the disintegration of lateritic rocks. Like red soil, it is also subjected to leaching. Leaching is percolation of soil nutrients making the top soil unproductive. The, the word leaching is very important board examination point of view. What is leaching? Leaching means percolation of soil nutrients making the top soil unproductive. So with regards to red soil and laterite soil, in board exam they ask you the similarities. What are the similarities? Number one, both are red in color, both are rich in iron oxide both the soils red and laterite are subjected to leaching characteristics of laterite soil they are coarse in texture rich in iron oxide and subjected to leaching deficient in nitrogen acidic in nature used for building purposes so only one advantage of laterite soil is it is used for building purposes the drawback is coarse in texture rich in iron oxide, deficient in nitrogen and acidic in nature. Even red soil also is acidic in nature. So these are the similarities between the red soil and the laterite soil. Areas of laterite soil, Madhya Pradesh, Odisha, Maharashtra, West Bengal, Andhra Pradesh, Karnataka, Kerala, Tamil Nadu. Crops associated, rice, ragi, sugarcane, tea, coffee and rubber. Tea, coffee and rubber are the important plantation crops grown in Kerala. Kerala is known for rubber cultivation whereas Assam, Darjeeling, West Bengal, Tamil Nadu, Nilgiris is known for the tea cultivation whereas Karnataka is known for cultivation of coffee. So coming back, in board examination, they ask you the similarities between the red soil and the laterite soil. Similarities. Number one, both the soils are red in color. Both the soils are acidic in nature. Both the soils are subjected to leaching. 
deficient in minerals and organic nutrients so please bear in mind all these drawbacks all these characteristics of red soil and laterite soil